Okay, here's another project that's going in the kiln. Um, I've got uh, these puddles that I fired and I just, I loved them. Uh, I think that this is French vanilla, although it looks awfully white, uh, but because of the uh, reaction with the turquoise, I'm pretty sure I used French vanilla. I fired these so long ago that I don't remember, and of course I don't have firing notes. <sighs> don't. <laughs> That's, there's a lesson to learn from me, is make sure you take good notes. Um, my memory's not good enough to remember what that was, but I'm pretty sure, even though it's awfully white looking, I'm pretty sure that was French vanilla. So anyway, um, I've got these and I decided I wanted to do something with them and I'm going to make just a little puddle platter. Pretty basic, pretty simple. So I've got some Tecta and then Robin's Egg Blue and I'm just going to kind of arrange these, you know, in a, in a pattern that I like kind of down the middle. I think I'm going to go from one corner to the, to the next and kind of um, do a, a full fuse on these. I will... Um, I'll take this up to, I don't remember, I've done one of these before and I had a really good firing on it, so I can't remember exactly what it was, 14.75 maybe, um, for 20 minutes or so. So what's cool about the puddles, I need to clean these up, but in this case, uh, I actually might like the pattern on the back better than the one on the front, and so I can, you know, just flip them. I realize it's not sitting flat, but it's going to melt down in a way, same, same here. That's just a whole lot of brown. That's gorgeous. So I'll, you know, use the back part of that. One thought as you go in is just the the amount of glass here now that's going to be in the middle. Just think about your annealing schedule. <clears throat> I want it to, to full fuse flat, but I may anneal for a little bit longer just to consider that thickness. If I were tack fusing or contour fusing, then certainly I'm going to do a full fuse. And because I'm adding all this glass into the middle, <clears throat> think about your fuse um, as, uh, as well in terms of <clears throat> wear on the edge. So I, I think if I stay far enough away from the edges, uh, I'm not going to get a lot of distortion here. We'll have to do a lot of cold working, which is what I'm trying to avoid. So I may, um, you know, if I'm more in the middle here, I'm probably fine, but I'm going to stay a little away from the edges so that I don't have to uh, to do a bunch of cold working after this is done. So. What, now, what can happen, or what I've experienced with these puddles, is you can get a fair amount sometimes of um, devitrification that can happen, depending on the glass that's used and how many times it's been fired and such. So I'm going in full knowing that I may have to do another dusting of clear powder after this is done and fire it again to kind of get rid of some of that. Um, you could try to do some powder on this now. I just think that the powder wouldn't give you full coverage. You're, you're going to have edges and circles and halos. I'd almost rather just do it as another firing later. So... This is that piece. I will go to the kiln shelf and arrange this on my kiln shelf and do a full fire on that and show you what this one looks like. Okay, I ended up going a different direction on this piece. So I showed you the robin's egg blue. I had that cut. I was loading the kiln literally and decided, you know what, I don't love that color choice. So I scrapped the robin's egg blue and I went for the slate gray instead. Uh, and I'm pleased with it. I thought the gray would kind of pick up on the the interactions within this piece and um, or within these these puddles. And uh, so anyway, I like this color better than than what I thought the robin's egg was going to turn out to be. I do have um, a little bit of some surface imperfections here uh, where some devitrification started, maybe a little bit here on the edge too. So I'm going to dust the entire thing with clear powder and put it back in and fire it again to get a nice uh, clean sheen on this before I slump it. But what I'm pleased with is that there's very little distortion, maybe just a slight bit that you can detect here on this edge. But other than that, I didn't get anything kind of bulbing out. I'm not going to do a lot of cold. In fact, I'm not going to do any cold working to this. I'm just going to uh, dust the clear powder on it and go. And here's the finished puddle piece. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with this. I like the color combination. The puddles are fun. They really pop off of this piece. I, I slumped it in a shallow mold and uh, yeah, I'm delighted. I had this little bubble that popped out of the puddle, but it is what it is. So, um, you know, puddles are a lot of fun. I'll be doing more of these. Um, I think these uh, look a lot of, uh, look nice in here. I'm glad with the, the color choice I ended up making. Uh, take it on as a project for yourself. Have a good one.